YouTube, how are you doing? Long time no see. Um, as you can see, my room is yet again back to the original one where I started my videos. Um, I'm home for the summer, and although I've been crazy busy with work and personal stuff, I um, figured I'd make a video. I'm feeling pretty colorful. Um, I'm really happy that summer is finally here. I'm so sick of Montreal winter. Um, my hair's growing out. Um, I got my tattoo on my leg finally. Um, and it features a lot of greens and yellows and it makes me feel very alive. Um, so I figured I would do something fun for the summer. Um, this is similar to my old video, like the bananas and kiwis or something like that. Um, but I am featuring a lot of new products in this video. Um, I got a bunch of samples from Makeup Forever Professional and um, MAC. So that's a lot of the eyes. And then a lot of the face is Makeup Forever Professional. So I wanted to do something um, that really uses a lot of bright, intense pigments that's really fun and flirty and um, attention-grabbing. Um, and just, you know, using the hot summer feel of summer um, to kind of translate it to our face. So if you want to learn how to get this look, please keep watching and I'll show you how. Prep your eye using Urban Decay Primer Potion on the entire lid from your upper lash line to your brow bone from your inner corner to your outer corner. Next we're using Makeup Forever Professional Aqua Cream Color in number 22, Emerald Green. And using your finger, apply this on your entire lid up to your crease and fading it out. Taking MAC's Pro Pigment in Rocket Yellow, we're going to take a brush and apply this on our inner corner, fading it into that green, making it really citrusy and bright and grabbing our attention. Next, we're going to pop Makeup Forever Professional Matte Shadow in number 93, Irish Green, and we're just going to put this on the entire lid, um, blending it to our crease and making sure that it blends and fades nicely into that yellow. Next we're going to create some depth and dimension, take Humid from MAC, and we're still using the same brush, and we're just going to throw this on our outer corner and blend it well into your crease, fading it to your brow bone. Taking any crystallized or pearly um, white, this one is from Sephora, we're just going to pop this on our brow bone, fading any of our harsh lines, making sure everything has a nice gradient fade. Just throwing on a little bit more color, taking uh, Max Pro Pigment in Chartreuse, we're going to throw it over that white highlight, um, making it a little bit more fun and colorful. This is optional, but I'm just taking a black shadow from Makeup Forever Professional and throwing it on the lower half of our outer portion to give a bit more smokiness. Prep your face using Smashbox Photo Finish Primer, and then I'm mixing Skin Illusions Foundation from Clarins with my Matte Velvet from Makeup Forever Professional to get that dark bronzy shade that I like. And then using a MAC 256 stippling brush, I'm just going to buff this into my skin. Using Makeup Forever Professional Waterproof Concealer in shade 2, I'm just going to pop this under my eyes to cover my dark circles and any imperfections I have on my skin. Setting everything with Lise Wattier's powder and sesame, I'm just going to dust this on my T-zone um, so we get rid of the shine but we still have the glowy skin on our cheeks. Take any bronzer you have, this one is Clarins and it's the limited edition summer one uh, from this year's uh, summer collection. And I'm just going to bronze and contour the absolute bejesus out of my face. 
Um, you don't have to go as intense and dark. Um, I just really like to look tan since I'm not. So make sure you blend it into your neck, getting rid of any harsh lines and uh, preventing that ring around your face. This is a discontinued blush from Smashbox, but since it's so dark, I like to use it as my contour. Um, anything that you use that has more of a brown tone is going to work. Um, you can also skip this step. I just like to chisel my face like it's made out of marble. And after that, our highlight is Soft Lights by Smashbox, and we're just going to pop that on our cheekbones, our nose, and right above our cupid's bow, just to make our skin look really pretty and healthy and radiant and glowy. And then last but not least, we're having an orange eyeshadow for Makeup Forever Professional, and I'm using that as my blush. Line your lower waterline and lash line using Mona Lisa pencil from Tarte. And then afterwards, we're going to take that uh, chartreuse pigment and smudge it on top on the inner half. And then we're going to go back into that dark green, that humid, and smudge it on the outer half. Um, once you're done, just curl your lashes, put on your mascara, and do your eyebrows. And then we will continue the look with lips. So once you're done doing your eyebrows and anything else you may want to touch up on your face, um, eat your breakfast, do your hair, brush your teeth. Um, and then the final thing to our look is lipstick. Um, Again, you can do a neutral lip with this, you can do chapstick for all I care. Um, I'm feeling colorful today, so um, we're just going to just gonna add a little bit more color on there. So with the oranges and the greens um, on our eyes, um, the really nice contour highlight uh, coral blush we got going on, I figured just might as well throw on like the hottest pink you can find. Um, so this is Candy Yum Yum from MAC. There's a bunch of companies that make like super hot fuchsia pink lipsticks, so you can pretty much find a dupe anywhere. And this is a matte, so if you want to do a lipstick, um, a lip gloss on top, feel free to do so. I'm going to skip the gloss because I just want that color concentration. My ball always gets dirty. <laughs> and yeah, that is the final look. I hope you enjoyed this tropical summer patio margarita inspired look. And um, I miss doing videos, so I hope to continue doing this and having some fun. Nice to see you guys. Take care. Bye.